Good morning. Welcome to the Nine Mornings with Father Jerry. We are now in day seven of our daily special Misa di Gallo reflection. The Gospel for today is a continuation of yesterday's reading. In the opening words of this Gospel, Mary proclaims the goodness and the greatness of God. Despite the highly unusual circumstances of her call to be the mother of Jesus, Mary rejoices and proclaims that God has looked upon her with great favor. She is not overwhelmed by fear or panic. I don't exactly know how would you react in such an event. Mary's immediate and heartfelt response to God's call makes it clear that Mary had a deep personal relationship with God. Mary's initial reaction to such a circumstance or circumstances ay nagpakita sa atin obviously na siya ay may normal at intimate na relasyon sa Panginoong Diyos. She must have been somewhat confused by this call or calling. Yet, Mary trusted God who called her. Mary believed that God would guide her and grace her. While Mary was very young when God called her, she had a deaf faith or malalim ang kanyang faith and trust in God that many people never develop in their lives. What a wonderful gift! We also experience these gifts of a personal an intimate relationship with God, our relationship with God develops in the same way that any relationship develops with time and experience. I assume that most of us do not place a great deal of trust in someone we just have met. True trust grows over time. Sa kay Maria, kita naman natin na noon pa man meron na siyang tiwala sa Diyos. It is our personal experience of the people or the person that enables us to begin to trust that individual. This also is true in our relationship with God. Take a moment right now and ask yourself, What is going well in my life today? Do I take these blessings for granted? Do I thank God for the many blessings I receive each day? When or if life is painful, confusing or difficult, Do I still praise and thank God? Sa hirap at ginhaw, ganun pa rin ba tayo katatag ang ating pagtitiwala o paniniwala natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos? Some days, I thank God for giving me the strength to keep me going considering my situation at the moment. At other times, I am grateful to God for the multitude of blessings I have received. Sad to say, though sometimes I forgot to be grateful to Him. Today, let us ask Mary to give us a share of her faith and trust in God and of her love for God. Mary will walk with us and show us the way to God. 
May we can invite her as an inspiration in our life in the context of our trust and faith in God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help me to earnestly seek for you with humility and confidence. Increase my faith in your promises. Strengthen within me the hope of heaven and eternal life and set my heart on fire with the burning love for you and for your kingdom. May I always praise and magnify your great mercy and glory. Amen. Good morning, mga kapatid. Good morning, everyone. May God bless us all. Advance. Merry Christmas to all.